So you're hard stuck in green ranks and all of your sweaty rank one friends laugh at you because you're in green ranks and they think you suck. And you want to know what you can do to climb those ranks and be rank one with them and tell them that you don't suck and prove to them that you are worthy? Well, my name is Electrified DVD, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to rank up fast. Before I tell you guys the tips on how to rank up, I'm going to quick explain how the ranking system works. If you already know how the ranking system works, skip to the timestamp on the screen right now. Okay, now that they're gone, there are five classes of ranks. Ranks 20 to 17, or gray ranks. Ranks 16 to 13, or yellow ranks. Ranks 12 to 8, or green ranks ranks 8 to 5 or purple ranks, and ranks 4 to 1 or red ranks. It is much easier to rank up in the lower ranks than it is in the higher ranks. For example, in the gray ranks, you only need to get 3 pips to get from r level 20 to rank 19. Uh, but in the yellow ranks, you need 4, and then I think in green and on, you need 5. And it is all based on the emblem system, whether you pip or not. So you need to make sure you're completing generators, running the killers, making saves, and surviving if you want to rank up. That's pretty much the basics of how the ranking system works. There's a little more nuances in there, but that's the basics. So the first tip I want to tell you guys is don't get tilted if you die. Yes, the goal of the game is to survive, but you don't have to survive to rank up. Instead of just focusing on surviving, make sure you're being a team player, doing generators, saving people off hooks, and running the killer. It's always good to try and survive, but it's more important to make sure you're doing things the whole game so you pip up going going along with the first tip is another tip. Is saying if you're constantly deranking or staying the same, you may want to consider taking a break for a little bit. Go for a walk outside, do something else besides just dead by daylight. Then come back even after just 15 minutes. It helps a ton, and if you do that, you'll find yourself ranking up in no time. Another tip I have for you guys is what you wanna do every game. In every game, what I try to do, that it isn't a guarantee that you'll pip up, but you should pip up if you do these things. If you run the killer a decent bit for you know maybe two gens, maybe run the killer for two gens or so, then you, do, you get two saves off the hook, and you do two full generators, and if you survive, that helps a ton. If you do all of that, then you should pip up in any rank. Maybe that won't work in red ranks, but it should in most ranks, and maybe even in red ranks. So the next tip I have for you guys is to always play with a swift or survive with friends, even if it's just one other person. Communicating with your team helps you rank up a lot, and is how I got to red ranks. I only played with four people, and there's a lot of ways that you can find people to play with. If you're on Xbox, you can do the uh, Dead by Daylight Club. I don't know if PlayStation has something like that. And also, for all platforms, there's a Dead by Daylight Discord you can go in that there's tons of people, so you will be able to find people to play with if you know where to look. And that helps a ton because you know, communicating, like I said in the last video of beginners tips, you know, you, uh, if you haven't seen that one, check it out, it'll be linked in the description. But you are going to want to communicate because it's going to be a lot harder for the killer to do anything if you are all communicating. The next tip I have for you guys is to find four perks that you really like to use and are good perks. They don't necessarily have to be meta perks, but just good perks to use. And only use those perks when you run or when you want to rank up. I mean, when you're messing around with your friends, it's fine. You know, you can use whatever. That's fine. But be prepared to de-pip or safety pip. You know, don't. But when you're only focusing on ranking up, only use the four perks that you really like and you are really good. For example, I only use Dead Heart, Adrenaline, Iron Will, and Kindred when I want to rank up because those are the perks I'm most comfortable using, and I've gotten pretty good at using that build. So when I want to rank up, I literally only use those and I've just, that's how I got to red ranks is just using that build because I've gotten so good and consistent at using this build and I like that build. The reason you want to find one build and stick with it is so you can learn how to use each of the four perks in your build very effectively and rank up faster because you know how to use those four perks extremely well. You also want to make sure that those four perks have nice synergy and work well together. For example, you want to have perks that work well in different areas, like my build. I have Adrenaline to heal myself once the gens are finished and time save, so I don't have to heal. Kindred to see the other survivors and if someone else is going for the save so I know what my role is. And Iron Will so that I can stay injured most of the game, dead hard to use in chases. 
The final tip I have for you guys today is to know your role. And what I mean by that is if you need to be running the killer, then continue to run the killer. Or if you need to do gens, then go and do gens. If you need to heal someone, do that. Things like that. This takes a lot of time to learn. But after you play for a while, you'll get the hang of it. And you have to know your role in any game, given game. So those are my tips on how to rank up fast in Dead by Daylight. If you think I missed anything, let me know in the comments comments below and if you enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe it really helps the channel out a ton and i appreciate it so much also you can check out my other tip videos in a playlist it'll be on the screen and in the description below check those out if you want to for more videos on how to improve a dead by daylight also in the description is all my socials there's twitter and twitch and there's a google form if you want to submit to have your vod reviewed and coached in a video all that stuff is in the description so if you want to check that out go down below and check it out and as always thank you guys for watching the video and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye